Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Leonard Cohen. The other time I was in corridors such as these was in the Verdun Mental Hospital. <laughs> Montreal. I was visiting. <laughs> I was visiting a friend. He was on the top floor. And I asked him, for he was still lucid, where can I get a coffee? He said, downstairs. That was one of those famous last words. I commenced the descent of similar stone corridors, and I found myself in a kind of arena, which was surrounded by closed doors. It had been a hot afternoon, and I had removed my jacket, as I am wont to do. I had left it with my friend who, though mentally ill, was no thief. <laughs> I suspect he wasn't even mentally ill. <laughs> he was doing this instead of college. <laughs> I stood watching the four or five doors, wondering about all the possibilities, except the one that occurred. <laughs> door open, and two large men in white uniforms walked out. And they said, where are you supposed to be now? I said, in the cafeteria. They nodded to each other. They said, where are you supposed to be now? In the cafeteria. Well, you see, as their questions continued, my answers, which had started innocent enough, began to sound like I, were, I was protesting too much. In fact, after being interrogated more, three or four more times, I was shouting, pushing them aside, causing them to run after me down the corridor. <laughs> it was only when a guard identified me that I was able to go back to my friend, who had eaten my jacket. <laughs> Out of the crowds of Montreal has come a singular talent with four books under his belt.